Yes, we're here. I'm Meredith Morakovitz, and this is a very special interview. I have Janet on from Hunterdon Medical Center. She is an ICU nurse there, and there is so much craziness happening in the world right now with COVID-19. Janet is on the front lines, but in all of that, something kind of special happened the other day. Your daughter, Emma, tweeted out a picture of you and all of your friends at the hospital who are also working there with Yankee signs. You guys are big Yankees fans. Did you know that Emma was tweeting that photo out? No, I didn't. I don't have a Twitter. Um, we did it kind of as a mood lifter because we all had tickets to the uh, April 26th game and we were so looking forward to that. So um, just a little moment of, of levity during our shift and I just sent it to her with a let's go Yanks and then the next thing I know um, it's on Twitter. I didn't know she was going to do that. Now did she then show you all the people that reached out, retweeted it? I know Gary Sanchez did. I know Glaber Torres. Did. What did that mean to you guys to see that these guys noticed the work that you're doing in the hospital? Uh, I mean, it was such a thrill to uh, to have them take time out of their day to just comment and 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 wish us well. And just that little comment meant so much. Um, we were all thrilled. It was the highlight of the week, really. Um, just fabulous. How, how did you become a Yankees fan? How did you get into it? Oh, I've been a Yankees fan my whole life. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so um, I and uh, my husband's a huge Yankee fan, and uh, my kids are Yankee fans, so we have been watching them forever. And uh, I grew up in Scranton, so we see their AAA team too, and uh, we're just we're just big fans. Now you said that was the highlight of your week. Can you just kind of take me through what your days have been like during this difficult time? Um, yes stressful um you know i think we're all stressed even going to work uh which is was something new and we're in the icu um we have 12 beds and and they're all full and um you know we get i don't think it's any surprise that there's a shortage of masks and and protective equipment so we get one mask for the shift and it's really tight we leave the mask on the whole shift uh, some people take it off to eat and drink but it's contaminated putting it back on. So some people leave it on the whole shift, um, you know, and, it, and the, the people are sick and their families aren't allowed. So we have to, we get phone calls from the family and um, who don't see their, their loved one and trying to update them. It's also just mentally and physically challenging. It's, it's like nothing I've ever seen in 28 years of doing this. Janet, you mentioned that this is a very stressful time for you and everyone that's on the front line right now. So how do you manage that stress and get yourself to work every day? Well, we, uh, all nurses, just about everyone I know has a, a very warped sense of humor or a, a gallows humor, if you will. So we try to help each other out through the shift. You know, we play some music. We, we don't have a lot of time, but, um, you know, little moments of levity like that, um, like, talking about the Yankees. Uh, um, just we do what we can to support each other. If somebody's having a tough night, um, just try to help them out. So we're trying. Well, we're here. If you want to talk Yankees, I'm ready to talk <laughs> Yankees. Do you have any questions Yankees related? I'd be happy to answer them for you. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. We're just looking forward to getting them back on. I have a son uh, who's home from college and he makes a joke uh, at seven o'clock. He'll say, oh, Yanks are playing the uh, Orioles tonight. And, you know, just we're just ready for things to get back to normal. But for right now, we need to do what we need to do. And everybody needs to just sit tight and and hopefully we we get past this quicker. I think everyone is hoping things get back to normal as quickly as possible. From your end, is there any message that you'd like to tell people? You know, just we, we hear the support. We thank you for the support. People have um, dropped off donated items, um, food, um, lotion, little, you know, pick me up items. And for the athletes, um, if any of them wanted to reach out or, or put anything of words of encouragement on their Twitter or whatever in, in every city, it means so much. Um, it really does. And it's just a minute or two of their time that affected a lot of people and we we were so happy 
um, to see Gary Sanchez and Glaber and Michael Kay, and it, it was it was really a thrill. Now, Michael Kay said he would love to have you in the booth with us when baseball does resume. Will you join us for a game with all your coworkers when? Oh, we're counting on it. <laughs> We're, we're probably looking forward to it as much, if not more, than you guys are looking forward to it. Oh, uh, we are. We are ready. And do you have a favorite Yankees player? Is there one player where if you said, all right, if he calls me, that is just, that's going to be my week? Uh, you know, I would have to, I would have to go for the whole, the whole family. I mean, growing up, who we watched play was Jeter, but I think right now um, my kids are crazy for Aaron Judge. So, um, you know, or any of them, really. We love them all. We know them all. But I, I think he would, he would make everybody's week. But. Are you a Paul O'Neill fan at all? Yes, absolutely. And my husband, you know, big fan. Yes. And John Flaherty as well. He's a co-worker of mine. Yes, yes. Well, maybe we'll enlist some of those guys to just maybe send you a message or two throughout the next couple of weeks. Just oh. you can have a little bit of Yankees in your life and maybe feel a little normal just in that very moment. Oh, that's awesome. And that's, that's great. And I know all the people of New York, uh, I can't imagine what's going on in New York City. And I, I know everyone's ready to get back to the, to the ball game and back to the park and, you know, just keep praying and keep staying home. We hope it's sooner rather than later. Janet, from the bottom of my heart and everyone at the Yes Network, we all thank you. We thank all the nurses, everybody on the front line and first responders. You guys are doing such admirable work during this crazy time. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Janet. Uh, this is Paul O'Neill. I saw the picture. You definitely have some Yankee fans there, but right now is a time that uh, we are fans of you and what you're doing at uh, Hunterton Medical Center. Thank you so much. And uh, when this is all said and done, and when it, it is over, I hope to see you at Yankee Stadium. Thank you. Hi everybody, John Flaherty here from the Yes Network. I just wanted to give a big shout out to everybody at the Hunterdon Medical Center, all the doctors and nurses and staff and everything that you guys are doing on the front line to save lives. Can't thank you enough for what you're doing. Please be safe.